Good morning, my family in Christ, and welcome to another morning devotion. I hope you're doing well. And if you're challenged or struggling in any area, trust you me, God is working it out for you right now. You just got to believe. Hang in there. Press. Don't give up. Don't give in. Because at the end of the day, God is good. And His mercies endure it forever. And this morning I want to challenge us to consider if there was one thing, one thing that you would desire above everything else in this world right now, what would it be? I know some of us may say, more money, more finances, and the list could go on and on and on. You may want the best home, the best job. You may want to have success in your college career. And all of these things are good. And they should be desired. But above all, what is lasting is what we should desire. And today, the thought, the word that we want to share is the word peace. That should be our desire. That peace reign, reign in our hearts, reign in our families, reign in our communities. Indeed, it reign in this world. And it is possible that this could happen even today. Jesus declared to his disciples, I have said these things unto you, that in me you may have peace. In the world, you would have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. I read John chapter 16, verse 33, the word of God to the people of God. And we see from this text, peace is the embodiment, the personification the characterization of God himself. This is evident in his son Jesus the Christ as he suffered, bled, and died. He was insulated with peace. He was covered in the peace of God. In this pain, he opt to forgive them, for they know not what they do. Imagine that. All kind of pain. Billows, blows, unbearable. And he said, Father, forgive them. In the face of death, he cried out, It is finished. And give up the ghost. Did not complain. Did not call down fire. But he declared. It is finished. The opposite of peace. Is anxiety. Uncertainty. And fear. But we need. Peace today. That passes. All our understanding. That should be our desire. When we further look in the Bible, we see the Bible defines peace, psychological peace, it's the comfort within, relational peace, harmony among humanity. And that's what we need today. And spiritual peace between God and man. We can't find that in this world. We can only find it in Christ. And as we close before we pray today, John 16 verse 33 declares, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation." But take heart, I have overcome the world. 
and the proof is in the pudding. Jesus triumphant and forever live today to make intercession for us. Let's desire above all today peace and let's pursue it. Let's give it and watch God work on our behalf. Father, we thank you as sons and daughters of God himself, of ambassadors of heaven, we thank you for your peace, the peace that you've given to us through Jesus the Christ. May peace reign in us, live through us today, in our conversation, and our going, and our coming, our down sitting, and our rising. May peace manifest through us today because of you. And we give you thanks for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. We commend those who lead the nations today, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament. We praise you for leaders everywhere as we commend them to you today. And we declare peace in the city, peace in the homes, peace in our school campuses, peace in the body of Christ. We declare Jesus, who is the Prince of Peace. We give you thanks in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you today. Let's give thanks and desire. Declare peace. It is here through Jesus the Christ. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.